We want to begin this morning with Sox winning the series. The team celebrated its third World Series title in nine years on Wednesday night. And later this morning, the party is going to spill out of the locker room and into the streets of Boston. Let's take the Pinpoint News Tracker right now. It shows you the route. The, route, the rolling rally will start at Fenway Park at 10 o'clock, and then it's going to head down Boylston Street, wind around Boston Common, and then out to the Charles River. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to line the streets of Boston's eighth championship parade since 2002. Not a bad deal. But in the wake of the marathon bombing, security will be tighter than ever. For more on that, we're joined now live by Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North, who's in Boston's Copley Square, not far from the marathon finish line. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning to you, Steve. Yeah, the finish line actually just a few feet away from where I'm standing. And I have to tell you, we've been here for oh, about two and a half hours or so, and it finally is really starting to feel like a parade is coming. We've seen some of the street vendors out selling balloons, Red Sox gear, et cetera. You're really seeing families starting to gather here, many of them dressed up in their Red Sox gear. And, and it's funny, as we walk along the crowd here along Boylston Street, it's, it's interesting to hear some of the stories of the varying degrees of difficulty in getting here. These guys behind me drove from Niagara Falls. Eight hours in the car. They haven't slept. They're looking great. Then you go down the line a little bit to this guy here. He had a how much of a commute? Five minute commute. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes because he works down the street and you get free parking, by the way, which yes, is cool. So enjoy your day. We're going to keep walking down Boylston Street and give you a real sense of uh, the crowd here lining the street all the way down as far as the eye can see. You can also see the street barricades in place, very similar to what was happening on the day of the Boston Marathon. They've been secured. Security's been out here all morning. Trash cans along the route again have been uh, locked. They did that a few hours as well. City's expecting potentially up to more than a million people here in past victory parades. They had as many as 3.2 million spectators. And again, before the victory parade even winds its way from Fenway all the way to the Charles River, parking restrictions have been put in place, extra police officers out on patrol. We've seen clusters of police officers out there already on duty. And to further protect these spectators, any backpack could be subject to a random check by police. Last time we weren't prepared to deal with the issues, security issues this time we were prepared. We're a very resilient police department. They'll be ready on Saturday to do their job as they always have in the past. Oh. All right, and we're back live, and we're showing you actually a live picture of uh, the National Guard, so you really get a sense of uh, just a few members of the security team that are out here and also members of the National Guard enjoying the parade as well. We've seen a you know, number of news live trucks. There's one actually driving down Boylston Street. A lot of people here to cover this parade from start to finish. And we're going to be here from start to finish covering all the action for you. And before we let you go, we want to let you know if you are thinking of coming again, you really don't have much time to get here because the street restrictions are going to be fully in place by 9 a.m. That means all of the parade route going to be shut down. Some of the perimeter streets are also going to be restricted as well. So if you're coming, you're urged to take public transportation and you're urged to get down here as quickly as you can to enjoy the festivities. Be sure to tune in for our newscast throughout the day. And of course, WPRI.com will be supplying pictures, photos, and some stories from some of the people here throughout the day. For now, reporting live in Boston, I'm Danielle North. We'll send it back to you.